Hey guys, so just very quickly before I kick this video off, I'm stoked to announce this video is proudly sponsored by MadTech Solutions. Uh, they're a local company specializing in website development, consultation, and IT solutions. They've been an absolute pleasure to work with, um, really great human beings. Go to their website, check out what they do, um, there'll be a link below. Secondly, if you missed my last video, um, I recently had really bad tendon damage in my fretting hand. Um, it stopped me from playing for about three or four months. Um, I've only just started playing recently uh, without it hurting. So hopefully there'll be a playthrough very soon if my hand continues to get better. But for now, here's my tally build part two. Um, I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, I'm Jess and welcome to part two of my Telecast build. I'm so excited to show you guys the final product. I just wanted to mention a few things first. So I'm now on Patreon. Make sure you head over, give it a bit of a sus. For those of you who follow me for my covers, I've got a tier there that allows you to download all three or four of my angles so you can focus in on a certain hand. It also gives you the tabs as well as my simulator settings for the amp simulators I use to get the tone. All the support that I get over there just goes back into making these kinds of videos as well as my covers. So thank you so much to my current Patreons. You guys are absolute legends. Firstly there's a couple of things I completely forgot to mention in my last video. One of those things was the price of the parts. Just in case you know you're looking at building your own Telecaster and we're curious on the total price. Keep in mind though that this is all in Australian currency and all these parts have come from America so <laughs> the currency conversion has kind of screwed me over a bit. In saying that I, I got it to all the specs that I like and I was fully aware that it was going to cost a bit more getting things from America. So the body costs $267, the neck costs $270, the bridge costs $174, the pickups cost $220, uh, the neck plate it only cost me $12, but $31 postage. Brass nut, that cost me $16, and then there was the pick guard that cost about $12. Um, so in total, that's, you know, nearly a thousand bucks. Uh, and then, yeah, the postage on, and that was $1,228. Um, so again, if, if you're in America, it's probably not going to cost you anywhere near as much as that, because, like I said, currency conversion and the postage, but, um... I think it's turned out pretty amazingly, so I'm not fussed. Um, the other thing it was, I just wanted to give a massive shout out to Maddie. Maddie's an absolute legend. He's a great guy. I've known him for probably known him for about six years now. He used to be my guitar teacher at uni. He used to work for Maiden Soundworks. He used to set up guitars for some really big names that used to come through there. He's fixed my amp before, like retubed it, serviced it. He's fixed a couple of pedals that were completely broken. Um, and I go to him every time for my guitars to get serviced. So if you're in the Melbourne area and you would like your guitar serviced by Maddie, or if you'd just like a lesson or, or to hire Maddie as a musician, I'll leave a way to contact him below. He absolutely shreds phases off by the way. He's insane. He's thank you so much, Maddie. This guitar has turned out so good, and um, let's let's get into it, shall we? So I got to Maddie's, and we ran into a bit of a problem. He's had a bit of a dilemma. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Oh, no. Your nut is as fake as that damn brass nut. Yeah, sorry, I had to can that one. So as I said, all of the things that I got here came from America. The one thing that I got here in Australia was that brass nut and it turned out to be fake. I got jibbed by my own country, man. Not cool. Not cool. Why I apologize is because it takes me a bit longer. If, ever since I texted you last, it was like, oh, I've been making this for you. You still will have a brass nut. Thank God that Maddie is a legend and he just started making one there on the spot for me. Um, and I'm really glad that I still ended up with a brass nut because I think it has made a bit of a difference. Maybe it's just in my head because I know I got a brass nut, but it does feel like the open notes just sing so much better with a brass nut. So again, thank you Maddie for being a legend. Yeah, so that's getting there slowly but surely. I can't believe they jibbed me. Yeah, I hope you didn't pay too much for it. It's gonna be faster for me to make you a new one yeah. <laughs> than it is gonna be to um that's do it the other way slow, I would have had it pretty much together by now yeah. otherwise. No, nah, it yeah. really looks better than the other one, like way better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
it's real brass now. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. I, no, I thought I, I would have had it almost pretty much constructed and done by now. Otherwise, it actually turned out better because I got to see him put the guitar together nearly from scratch, besides the routing and stuff. And I'm so glad I didn't try and put this thing together myself because. It wouldn't have turned out very good. Yeah, this one's like, I don't know. I don't know, it sounds like metal. I've got a feeling it might be aluminium or something like that. Yeah, 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 it's aluminium. You can see it's just shiny. I've never made an aluminium nut before, so I don't know whether it's a good thing <laughs> or not. But really, I didn't think it was gonna be very pretty in the end. No. So I thought, nah, screw that. We'll, we'll go the old school method. So oh, I'm just in the process. I'm almost done, as you can see. Yeah, no, that's all I cool. just started cutting the slots there. It's kind of cool to see it'll be done anyway. So. Yeah, oh, well, you know, <laughs> I was like, damn, she's going to bring the camera to her. I'm going to be yeah. halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's even better, I reckon. And do you give you an idea of what I've done on this one? Yeah, basically just routed that out. Basically sick. ground that out. And the same with your white plate as well. Yeah, sick. How'd you go with that? Yeah, 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 that's all good. No stress at all. So that will go on there. The only other thing that I was thinking is, would you like me to give it a really light fret dress? Just to make sure it's all right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it takes a little while on maple next because I tape it up. I don't like touching those wheels on like the lacquer. Yeah, no, nah, fair so, enough. So yeah, that takes a little bit of time. All taped. Beautiful. Okay. All good. It doesn't need much, just need to smooth out. See that fret there? So yeah, there's bits of that haven't even been touched, oh, yeah. but everything around it has been. So oh, okay. that obviously means that's low, so that would have been a problem fret. That would have yeah. rattled, you know, somewhere on like the third or second string or something like that, yeah. you know. That's why I wanted to do this quickly. I used to um, do lots of stuff for like Brett Garcia back in the days, played with Farnham and all those sort of stuff. Yeah. Awesome guitarist. No, 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 no. But like, um, he used to have, um, he used to use vintage strats, which had a huge radius on them, but he liked his actions super low. But it was like, it, it, unfortunately, you'd go to bend like a note, and of course it's like going um, uphill, and it'd just clip out straight yeah. away, you know, as soon as it got higher, it was like the action suddenly get lower the further you push the string out. Yeah. So oh, I used to, he used to get me to get his guitars and just grind the shit out of the middle so in the end the fret would be like almost flat while the board was like that shocking way of doing it and everybody else refused to do it but he loved it <laughs> it was like don't tell the boss because of course the, the right way to do it is to follow the radius and make it perfect and all of that that's all well and good but yeah you know, it's got to be useful that's looking much better and then, um, it was a bit rough on the edges too that's the bit i hate doing I actually despise doing that bit Much shinier. Miko. And they've got black crap on it. Once I clean that, <laughs> it'll be much better. There you go. All the bits and pieces. Yeah. Just short of strings. Hell. Second for the heat and build up. Ow. <laughs> You're nuts. There we go. So we just have to clean out the slots now. Because the slots get full. 